So here are the brains behind the XB based home automation system. This is an embed uh, that has been socketed into an embed application board. Um, you can see that we have Ethernet connected as well as USB for power. The LCD screen is displaying information about the system including the IP address, uh, temperature 0 and temperature 2 as well as the states of the lights. And the blinking lights on the embed allow us to determine any issues if they're present. Here is one of the remote nodes for the home automation system. This node has a temperature sensor connected, a uh, motion sensor, a button, and it has a digital out that is also connected to a relay which drives the light right here. The button on these remote nodes can be used to directly control the lights that are connected. So if I press this button here, the light turns off. If I press it again, the light turns back on. It's a toggle system. Uh, the Arduino scene in this image is just being used for a power supply. Here is, is an example of another remote node. This remote node contains just a motion sensor, a button, and an uh, output to a light. It does not have a temperature sensor. This button operates exactly as the previous example, where if I press it, the light goes off, which is the light right here. And if I press it again, the light turns on. This is accomplished by means of a uh, power switch tail, which is a um, just a, a relay that can be controlled with digital logic levels. Our last node type is the node that has just a temperature sensor on it. And this example is powered by a 9 volt battery. In this example, we have it in the refrigerator to allow us to monitor refrigerator temperatures. So that's why it's in the refrigerator. All right, now time for a quick application demo. If I open the app here, we then go into the configuration menu and we need to set the IP address of our um, coordinator. And so I, I'm just going to paste this in here. And so now I just press the refresh button here and the data is automatically retrieved from the coordinator. And so we see here that we have our two temperature sensors, the uh, motion control enables as well as uh, light control. Uh, now these motion control sensors or motion control enables, what they do is um, allow us to change the light from operating um, purely manual to a uh, uh, motion control uh, enable. So let's go ahead and switch on this light here. Or switch it off. As you can see, the light turns off. And uh, we can power this other light off just by pressing that one. So the light turns off. And then, you know, we can uh, power them back on by clicking them. Light one and light zero. And it's accomplished. Okay, now we will demo the control of the lights from the motion sensor. So as I round this corner, this light's going to switch on. And as I enter the kitchen, this other light will switch on due to this other motion sensor. Now, the lights are on a timer. Uh, the uh, uh, coordinator keeps track of the last uh, time that it received a uh, motion sensed, and it starts a timer. and. Uh, we have it currently set to turn off after 15 seconds of no motion. So in just a few seconds, these lights should begin to turn off. There's one and the other. There we go.